OK, welcome to number three in the iWeb series. Now, we're going to look at the inspector again. And uh, we'll just see what the inspector does. So, whoops. That's the media. There we want the inspector. The inspector is here. And uh, we're going to look at the text side now. <coughs> now, there's a number of different things that we can do with text. Obviously, we can change. So let's... Uh, uh, let's just change the colour of that text. If you click on this, you'll end up, and this is a kind of universal thing with Max, you'll end up with a colour wheel. Uh, you can drag yourself around the colour wheel to make different colours. The colours appear up here, so you can just drag it around and have a look. You can get the lightness or brightness, if you like, from here. So you might want to do something, you know, nice deep red. And when you do that, you'll notice that the text colour changes here. Whatever you've got highlighted changes. Um, now, of course, that's atrocious because the background is just wholly awful. So we're going to go back to the background of the page. We'll click on the page one. We'll change the color fill to um, nothing. Uh, let's see, what should we do to do that? Uh, browser background, let's make that white. And we can just choose white from one of these here. I might say that if you want consistency with this, this is good. Let's say now we've got, this is the, the colour that you want the text to be. Um, and you say, OK, that's cool. I like that. I like that colour itself. Uh, you've changed it to, oh, whoops. Um, I've just changed the background again. <laughs> Hang on, it goes back to back. Uh, we want the text again. So we go to text, colour. Um, now we do like that colour so what we're going to do is we're going to drag that colour down and put it in the little bar here. Now that allows us to access that without having to go through the complexity of trying to figure out what um, <coughs> pardon me, the colours. Okay so um, we can now make all our text out if we want uh, or just bits of it by simply going up there clicking on the colour and it changes. I'll just drag this bar down. This floats over everything so you can float it down to where it is you need it. Look at it and say, oh yeah, I think I'll make those the same colour. And I might make the headings something different so I'll... Um, they can be they're black, sort of blackish at the moment, but I might make them some horrible yellow or browny colour there. And uh, drag that colour into the bit here and that means that I can then change the other links to to that so um, you, you can make a you know design your own stuff now let's say I've made all those changes change the color of this and that now let's say I'm going to use this page a, a few times uh, a really good way of doing that. I want to use these same colours, for instance. A re really good way of doing it is to go up to About Me and right-click or Control-click on it and simply duplicate the page. Now that gives you the first page you made and the second page, which is identical, a clone of it. Now you can, uh, you know, you can change uh, that picture to something else. So we'll just go back to have a look at the media again. We'll go to photos, for instance, ducks, and we'll run one of my ducks onto it. There she is, um, nesting, uh, protecting her babies. It's not a very good photo, actually, but still that'll do. Oh, it's not a photo, it's a movie, that's right. <coughs> that's why it's not a very good photo, because it's a movie. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I should have seen that, shouldn't I? Silly boy. So instead we'll drag... Um, oh, that's a movie as well. I'm ha having a bad time here with these. Here's Frank. That's a, um, we'll get rid of that and we'll just drop this on. Oh, that's a movie as well. I can't believe it. Um, so there we are. 
There's Frank moving around. Well, that gives you an example of how you can drop a movie, and it's as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing really much to it. Oh, look at this. This is so typical. I've got it on movies. That's why it's coming up that way. Um, photos would give me something completely different. So, oh, I'll drop my mate onto it. And uh, and that's interesting because that's just sit, sat over the top. I'll just drag him over here. Now, <coughs> there is a trick for beginners at this. You can do this on any page, except you've got to be very careful that you don't do it when you're doing a blog or an iP or a podcast. And the reason is because you can stuff things up. When it comes to the podcast, I found that uh, it doesn't register the image that you've put as the image for the podcast, and then your image doesn't come up on uh, iTunes. Okay, um, I'm just adding this on to the end because I realise there are two things that I've uh, picked up uh, and uh, realised are a bit of a problem sometimes with iWeb. Now, this is the first one, right? Is pictures are in a placeholder, what's called a place card or placeholder. They are very specifically in your podcast ones. So if you do a podcast one, this is the picture that's going to be... Um, that's in the placeholder and you need to drag a new image onto it. Don't cut and cut it off. Don't get rid of it because if you get rid of it uh, in the code that's produced by iWeb it'll cease to become the picture that gets uh, put up. This here is the description of the podcast and it's very specific. If you add things into that that are not part of the description of the podcast, then you've got all sorts of problems with uh, your RSS feed, which we'll come to later. Now, the other thing, so, so just remember that, that's, you know, a trick for beginners is when you look at the page, um, just drop a picture onto it. Don't, um, you know, cut it off, just drop it on. They don't actually stay behind, you know, that you're not loading your page up. But every time you put one onto a placeholder, that picture takes over. Now the other one is if you want to change colour, here's a classy little way of doing it which I completely forgot about telling you which is this. This is a, a wonderful little thing for choosing colours. Now let me just give you an example of what you can do with it. Let's assume that, in fact you can just sort of change in. Let me open up Safari and um, I go to this and I click on the colour fill and I click on this. Uh, now I'm stuffed. Hang on, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Oh, here we are. Okay, so go to this, click on this and I go across, takes a bit of manipulation, and I look for a colour I like. Say I like that sky, and this is on uh, Apple's sort of head page. I like that sky. I click on that sky, and look, my web page has changed to that colour. Or if I wanted to click on this guy's, um, you know, suit, click on that, and I get this awful looking colour. <laughs> but anyway, it's a great way for being the colour picker. So you can you can choose a colour, look at it and say, yeah, okay, that's what I want. You know, so there's nothing particularly nice here to choose. There's one. Yeah, that'll do. Ugh, that's awful as well. Okay, that's it.